You're watching Schmooze Queen TV coverage of the 2008 Palm Springs International Film Festival Awards Gala Red Carpet Arrivals. Hi! Thank you so much for organizing this. Thank you for coming. The Golden Globe are almost cancelled, but you succeeded in making this gala. Of course. Of will. course. How did you do it? I mean, was it a waiver from the Writers Guild of America? Because the show is written. Because this is paradise down here. You know you'd come down this far, wouldn't that's you? A, that's the best song. Thank you so much. Thank you. You're welcome. And thank you for coming. That's the main thing. That's one full way. Please on that topic. Yeah, I'm so proud of the cast, you know, my brothers and sisters out there. Cool. What do you think is, is the fact that it's still there? I mean, it's still, you know, you still have a lot of people, you know, that are renting now the DVD of Hairspray. I mean, what is the thing that really... It was weird. I walked into, I think it was Blockbuster, and I saw the DVD in the shelves, and I was like, hey, I'm proud of that one. You know, it's a pretty cool event. Congratulations. Um, yeah, yeah, thank you. What are you so, up to now? Uh, what am I up to now? I'm, I'm actually working on a new film called um, Seventeen. Seventeen. And uh, yeah, it's a pretty cool story. It's it's kind of like um, big reversed. So my character becomes young again, goes back to high school with his kids. Uh, yeah, I won't give away too much, but it's it's pretty exciting. <laughs> You've been here before yeah. to Palm Springs? Uh, yes, I've been to Palm Springs before, not to this event. Though. Yeah, I'm very awesome. excited. Thank, Thank you. you. John Travolta, Canada, France. Très bien. So from Show West to Palm Springs, I mean, it seems to me like it never ended. Never ended. Yeah. What is it? I mean, you know, today it's still here. I mean, there's still like a lot of, we saw it outside, a lot of, uh, you know, good thing about this film. Yeah, well, you know, we've had six wonderful months of injecting the, the spirit of that movie into the public and, and they love it like they did Grease. And uh, it's, a, it's a wonderful opportunity to share a movie that, that really works for them. You know? It seems to me like every generation has its musical and uh, every generation has Travolta in its musical. Yeah! <laughs> <laughs> you ever been the t to the Pink Lady? Never. Never <laughs> even you. thought about it. But here I am. You know? Thank you so much for this. Thank you. You're Thank you. Welcome. My pleasure. <laughs> Well, someone just told me, and I, I can't believe it's been 10 years, and it's been 20 years since we made the original Hairspray, and I know, of course, he was the mayor of Palm Springs, and he started this festival, and I guess it's because of him we're all here tonight, so um, I, I honor him tonight, and I honor the original film, and I'm, I'm just thrilled to be a part of this very special evening. My breakout. That was what? My first, my first like, live performance as Tracy. Okay, and now here we are in Palm Springs. In between, what happened? Uh, I don't know. <laughs> a lot happened. Um, you know, the movie came out and it, it got a really wonderful reception, which meant a lot to me because I knew how much fun I had playing Tracy. I just hoped the world would have as much fun watching it. No, we did, we did, we did. Thank you very much. And, and seeing the reception and then being here tonight and getting recognized for my performance as Tracy really does mean a lot to me. It really touches me. Nikki, is this real for you or is still some kind of a, I mean, can you believe it? I, I wake up every morning and I go, what is going on? Please tell me this isn't a dream because that'd be a really cruel joke. But, um, you know, I'm just, I'm, I'm literally living a dream. Every day is a different adventure. And I'm just, every day that I wake up is a good day. That's what my grandma taught me. Who did you dress? I'm in Jessica McClintock tonight. Oh. And to those, and, sorry, to, to, just last one. To those who are like on Facebook, MySpace, and who are ah. like communicating and everything, what message do you have for them? Um, I say, you know, just be who you are and love who you are and love the people that really love and support you. Um, and just be who you are and don't be ashamed of it. Show the world. Thank you. Thank you. It seems like it's, it's not ending. What, what is it about this movie that's it's, even if it's on DVD? That's well, still... I mean, if you want if you want to get real about it, it hasn't ended since 1987 when John Waters made the first one, that's you know. Right. So, I mean, you want to talk about a movie that won't end. Um, but it's just really thrilling. I mean, I, I never saw this coming, and so, and I've never been a part of it. I was just laughing. I was like, the last time I was a part of an award season, I was a dancer on the Oscars in 1990. Oh my god! <laughs> so it's it's a it's a really interesting thing. What were you dancing on? The Oscars. I was dancing on the Oscars. I was one of the Academy Awards dancers oh, in 1990. Yeah. So. Look at the trajectory. That, yeah. yeah. That you know, Academy Award, Academy Award, John Travolta, Academy Award, Academy Award dancer, Adam Shank. <laughs> who did your suit? Oh, who did my suit? Who Gucci. Did your suit? Gucci. 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 I'm Gucci I love everything. The nice yes. Too. That's Thank so you very much. Nice. What's next? Uh, I'm doing a movie called Bedtime Stories with Adam Sandler. I am producing a movie with Zac Efron called Seventeen, which of is going course. great. Oh, I have a movie coming out that's a sequel to last year. We did a movie that did really well called Step Up, which is another dance movie. So I'm getting 
the chance to keep dance really alive in the cinema, which is really special. To Good me. for you. Just a sequel of Step Up. I mean, the thing is the first one. Yes. And, and then now the second one. What is it about? You know, Stomp the Yard and now, you know, it's Step Up. I mean, it's a great follow your dream story about you you can be better than your circumstances and keep pursuing your dreams. It's another one of those stories, but with a lot more dancing. Perfect. Thank you so much. Thank you very much. Hi. Hi. What a great movie that appeals to all age groups. Yeah, How wonderful. Isn't it great? How did you find this? Did it come well, to you? We or? saw it on Broadway when it was in previews and decided that after Chicago, oh, this is what we wanted to do next. Oh, wonderful. Yeah, so we're kind of thrilled. Yeah, thrilled. Wildly successful Thank you. and wish you the best Thank you very much. your Thank you. here Thank you. and at the Oscars. Thank you. Thank, Thank you. Thank you so Thank much, you. gentlemen. Did you expect all this around atonement? Um, did you feel something was going on? Uh, it's a film that I'm very proud of, and uh, I'm very, very proud of, of the performances of Kira and James, uh, and also the crew. Um, so I'm, I'm very pleased to see that the, the people are responding to the film uh, so positively. Um, whether I expected it or not, I'm not, I'm not so sure. I'm thinking about one thing. I mean, the movie's out now, you know, in France as well. You know, it's called Reviens Moi, which is Come Back to Me. Yeah. I don't know why they translated by Reviens Moi, Come Back to Me. I think, I think the, the translation of Atonement was a bit too heavy. You know? <laughs> <laughs> had too many Catholic connotations. <laughs> and it became Reviens Moi, Come yeah. Back to Me. Yeah. It sounds... Uh, well, it's something that is a, a repeated <laughs> motif throughout the film. It was, an, it was an idea I quite liked, actually. And my last question is this, when you say that the movie all over the world is, is perceived exactly the way you, you told me, at one moment, you remember, you know, in Toronto you said, you know, you, you felt it. What do you think, it's global, this story? Is that, is, is that what, you know, all over the world um, I think it's a very personal story. I think when you make a personal story, it, it reaches people on a, on a personal level. I think it's, um, it's not really an issue-based film, it's about the, the human, uh, need for for atonement, and, um, and so I think that's maybe why people are responding to it uh, so globally. Okay, the first thing you heard about Palm Springs, do you remember Palm Springs? What's no? the first thing that would come into your mind when you think about a city like Frank Palm Sinatra? There we go. That's exactly. <laughs> what it Thank you very much. Thank indeed. you. Take care, Jeff. Good that's luck. Really <laughs> Wonderful film, brilliant thank cinematography, you. and oh, good luck you. with the Oscars. Thank you very much. Yes, thank don't you, you think for you're coming. going to be up for an Oscar? Absolutely. Sorry? Is the film going to be up for an Oscar? Don't you? Think? I don't know. You don't Absolutely. Know. Don't ask me. I'm not in control best of this. Best picture. <laughs> best picture nominee uh, for sure. We'll From see. Canada, we yeah. love you. Oh, thank and you. thank you so much.